All right, welcome back. Episode 146 of Chaotically Intolerant. I'm your host, Alex Boyajan, Layton. It's Layton Mondays again. Um, make sure to go. So tomorrow, I have a brand new podcast launching in conjunction with the Curtis Podcast Network. Uh, it's called Unstable. It is a cults-only podcast, so you don't have to hear about my cults takes as much. On this show, we can focus more on the more important things, like Natalie Portman being single. That is on the wheel today. Um, big W for any of the prequels fans, I guess, if you're a fan of the prequels or you're just a fan of really attractive women. Layton, are you a fan of... Are you a fan of really attractive women? Yeah. You better be. You better be. Uh, make sure, first, make sure to like and subscribe and follow. And what's the other thing? Comment, something like that. Share. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, and then if you are going to tune in on Thursday, actually, no, not if. When you turn it, tune in on Thursday, we have a massive guest coming um, from Pro Football Focus, Max Chadwick. Most likely, I might have to cut this if he doesn't come. But it's, <laughs> it's most likely he will be joining the show um, on Thursday's episode to talk about the Combine. He was up there. He was at the Combine uh, rubbing elbows with... All the all the NFL execs. So, um, yeah, we'll count for that. So we're the chaotic clean talent moving up in the world. We're moving up. Um, but let's spin the wheel. Let's get the wheel spun. Let's go. Let's do it. You know, I I, I actually had to present. Oh wait, here. What is this? Oh, Miami. Miami is breaking up with spring break. I didn't finish my thought because the wheel said no. Miami is breaking up with spring break. They officially announced they. Actually released a commercial and they announced that they don't want you to come for spring break anymore. They don't want you to come to Miami. Clap it up for Miami. That's awesome. Big dub for Miami. The cocaine. <laughs> and and BBLs. I, I think BBLs is a, a just plastic surgery. Don't they have like a whole TV show based on Miami plastic surgery? Doctor Miami. They yeah. Um, I think they're doing okay. Uh, let me let me pull up the rules that they're. They're imposing, so they've got a lot. They have too much going for them. They don't. I'm, I'm going to say this first off, like Miami. They were talking about how dangerous it is and how many people got hurt for spring break, which is true. But Miami is not a world-renowned safe place. <laughs> like they aren't exactly considered safe for for any American ever going down there. Um, but I guess. You know, I guess to to help curb that, they're they're installing instinct or uh, curfews, DUI checkpoints. They're closing parking lots. They're doing bag checks at beach entrances, and the police will be making arrests for any drug possession or violence. Beach entrances will be limited to Fifth, Tenth, and Twelfth Streets if you're planning on going to Miami. Um, they also close at six p.m., which let's not forget this weekend daylight savings. Rolling those spring forward? Is it spring forward, right? Is Daylight Savings still we yeah. after it was the last year? They keep they keep saying that. They're like, this year listen guys, this year's gonna be the last year. We promise. And then they just don't do it. Since they Yeah, I I I really think like twenty twenty they were like, you know, COVID, like let's get some shit done. You know, let's let's go in, let's do some stuff while COVID's here. And they just never did it. Um Playing loud music without a permit will be restricted. Uh, items like items like coolers, inflatable devices, tents, tables, and similar objects are not allowed, and the entrances will include bag checks at those beach en entrances. Alcohol and cigarettes are always prohibited on Miami beaches, although who who's stopping that? Who's been stopping that? Are, are we trying to get a shot at Isabella? Yeah, she's just. She's she's not showing her ass this time. <laughs> well, did you're you're taking away her income? We maybe maybe cat maybe she'll be the uh, the mascot for chaotically intolerant. Grizabella, a cat. I think a cat. Good energy. We we had a dog appear on the show on Thursday. Uh, Butter, the golden retriever, appeared on the show on Thursday. Um, so if you want to go check that out, it's like at the top of the episode too. So just, you know, go watch episode 145. Um, the other fees, parking fees in busy garages and lots will be increased to a flat rate of $30 for visitors, except for March 7 through 10, 
at March 14th through 17th when they will be closed. Uh, for Miami residents or employees and permit holders who need to park in these lots during busy spring break windows, the flat fee does not apply, and some lots will be open to local residents, according to the city's website. If your car gets towed, you pay a $516 fee on South Beach and a $30 administrative fee. People who are illegally running short-term rentals, like Airbnbs and Burbos, may be fined $1,000 to $5,000 per day. So, let me say this. Why isn't this happening more in Florida? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I feel like Florida State Lee enough anywhere. I'm talking about, like, like the, so I, I'm not talking about the bag checks. I don't, I mean, I get it. They have to do it for their week, but I don't think that should happen here. I'm talking about those fees, mm -hmm. like parking, stuff like that. Like, if, if you're not a full-time Florida resident, I feel like that should just, happen like that should just go to our government i, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I feel i feel kind of the opposite about all of this i feel it makes life easier for residents like with the parking but then other stuff it's like checking bags at the beach no i don't i don't want that i'm i'm just i'm literally just talking about the parking fees yeah that's crazy you know that's crazy i'm talking about for just like the entirety of Florida, like why aren't we doing that more for visitors? I suppose, but even still, how do you know who's a visitor and who's not? Your license, your license plate. A lot of people with like out of state license plates. That's pretty pretty easy. So anyone with an out of state license plate has to pay thirty dollars. I'm okay with that. I'm pretty. Fa I'm actually pretty fine with that. And then make it if you have a Florida license plate, make it cheaper. We live here. I would do the same. I would expect the same if I went to another state. If I went to like New York or Boston. Because I'm a visitor. I'm a... So they're trying to make it. Well, you're already paying ridiculous amounts of money if you go well, you... to the Northeast anyways. But here or up there? And these are everywhere, but it's pretty expensive here. Too. I didn't even know we had a hospitality tax. I've known, Whenever I book a hotel, I don't remember seeing that. I think it's like 13% because it always makes me so mad. Let me look. <laughs> 6% from rentals of six months or less. Tourist development tax. In addition to the sales tax. So it turns into a 13% total tax. Just charge that for and spending percent. I have no room. I think that stuff should only apply to out-of-state visitors because you have to provide a license anyways to check into a hotel. Like, that's, like, pretty standard to do that. So if you have a Florida license, I feel like that's... And, you know, people will somehow get around it sometimes. Like, whatever. People get around... People use loopholes all the time. But make a lot of money. Make a lot of money for the government. Help the people of Florida. We're... All we do is solve problems on this show. That's all we do. Uh, the, didn't didn't you solve homelessness like a few weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure in the description there was a latent solves homelessness on an, on a podcast episode at some point. I don't remember. Clearly, clearly our ideas are so awesome that we just forget about them. Uh, all right. And if if anyone actually takes our ideas seriously on the show, you're you're stupid. I hope our politicians are listening to our show. That'd be a problem. I'm not funding anyone. <laughs> They should fund us. Subscribe for a chance to fund our trip. To... <laughs> yeah. You'll be entered into a, a non-negotiable. That's fair. That's perfectly fine. Give me give me a thousand dollars. I'll drive you down to Sarasota personally. You get the CEO. You get the president and founder of Chaotically Intolerant Multimedia Productions LLC to taxi you from sarasota to miami and back certain times though so we have to leave at 7 a.m and we have to be back by that night so you get a day in miami with us it's like the world of t-shirts tour of new york you get the chaotically intolerant tour of of florida i'm just gonna take you to the worst spots too like the most boring spots of all time quiet bars that's because that's what i want that's my we should offer a tour of sarasota we should offer a tour of Sarasota for five hundred dollars to tourists. People might fall for that. That's what that's from. But I think that's free. Is that free? I think it is. I know that there's 
There is a trolley that goes from... It goes all down Main Street, like, all the way. You know, the Main Street. It's the yeah. Pen Runner. That one's free. Yeah. But I think that's our cute trolley. You pay for it. Anyways. Chaotic. We did spin. Let it go. Hell yeah. All right, Layton, name a woman. Not Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, that one kind of thing. Who is next? Does Hillary? And it is... I'll say Natalie. You motherfucker. All right, Natalie Portman is single and ready to mingle. If you're, again, if you're a fan of the prequels, if you love Padme, there you go. She's, I, I, I think I love her more. There's a video of her just on the Texas sideline in like 2008, the University of Texas at a football game. That I think she's hotter in that video than in the prequels. And she's hot in the prequels. So, just, I don't know, bonk, bonk, bonk to, bonk to everyone. Matthew McConaughey goes to some kind of Texas. Yeah, he's big, and he's big with Texas. He's like massive with Texas. Is it University of Texas or Texas A? Yeah. University of Texas, the Longhorns. Yeah, he's, he's like, he has a class there. I think he teaches a class. <laughs> That's crazy. Come, come on, man. <laughs> I, I love Matthew McConaughey. Like I'm not, I'm not spending my hard-earned money. That's <laughs> the class taught by him, unless it's like just how to be Matthew McConaughey. Then I would definitely follow that. I would do that. He does that with class. Are you reading it? I'm just looking at. Well, it's not at University of Te- Oh wait, the University of Texas at Austin, Moody College of Communication. I think that is that some music communications for Jessica. That professor of University of Texas. I think it's like an extension. Yeah, it's like an extension of University of Texas. But Natalie Portman, um, they filed for divorce. She's 42. Filed for divorce last July. Um, it got finalized in France last month. She was married to a guy named Benjamin Millipede. Benjamin Millipede. She's, I mean, she's Natalie Portman. <laughs> she's not changing that name. If, if anything, he's changing his name. That sounds better. They had two kids, Aleph, Aleph, and Amalia. I'm going to assume that's just a foreign name. Oh, yeah, she's too good for him. I'm looking at a picture of this guy right now. Anyways, I guess a woman, what woman can I think of right now? Oh, no. Every time this comes up, I completely forget any woman that has ever been, like, that has ever existed or been around me, except for Hillary Clinton, because you put Hillary Clinton in my name or in my head or Sydney Sweeney, but I don't want to. Do <laughs> I don't want to name Sydney Sweeney again. I mean, I saw this on TikTok. But yeah, it's like a trap, you know, that for guys, like, oh, if they say Sydney Sweeney, you know. But then I didn't know, because I would always say Hillary Clinton, because it's like, she was run three in my head, I guess. I will say a big whoop. It's not like I'm going to date Hillary Clinton or anything. But then Dakota told me that it's actually, you're supposed to say your significant other. And if you say anyone else, it's like, you're trash. I mean, we're not like, like we're, <laughs> I'm not going to say my significant other on a podcast. Like, <laughs> It's not, I agree. Like, obviously, like, the number one, the, the number one is, like, name a woman, oh, my girlfriend. And then number two is, like, my mom. Or, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll flip-flop if, like, I was, like, number talking two. to my mom recently or something. But, like, I don't know. What's a, what's a woman? <laughs> who's, who's a woman? Nikki Haley's coming into my mind because she suspended her campaign. That's the only other one. What does that say? Oh, we just covered Natalie Portman, bro. Good job naming Natalie Portman when it's on the wheel. Moron. Well, you're bonk to... I told you it was on the wheel before the show. Yeah, so I told you Natalie Portman was... Bonk. <laughs> Immaculate Grid, let's go. I haven't played Immaculate, Immaculate Grid in a long time. Oh, I actually have something that's on the wheel that might be interesting. All right, we'll, we'll use that as our Natalie Portman replacement. Did you hear in that G? Do you know fight Mike Tyson? That 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 no 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 no. We're not coming, we're not talking about that stupid shit. All right. 
he is doing all right so he's actually doing what a lot of fighters do he's fighting he's either like fighting really young and shitty fighters so he can be 20 and one and then he'll make a big fight and then he'll get pummeled um mike tyson like when he fought roy jones jr a couple years ago he fucking looked good like he looked he looked like he could still compete with some fighters like not the heavyweights not the ones now but He's not washed at all, and yeah, like, are you excited to see active the stimulus? <laughs> like, come on, this is you know what you know what I'm gonna do. If Mike Tyson loses, it's rigged. And it's it's on. Is it on Netflix? I, do people say that? I think it's on Netflix because Netflix is trying to get more into the sports game. Yeah, let's have this. Yeah, live streamed on Netflix. It's live streamed on Netflix. They have a 30-year difference. Let me see if it's free. I bet I would bet it's not. Because they're already complaining about losing profits because of password sharing. They're crying their eyes out over it. Um, yeah. Doesn't say anything about price right now. Hold on. I mean, there's... Isn't it in May? Uh, July 20th at AT&T Stadium. Home of the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, he's, like, I, I just don't know. All right, so listen listen to this. This is a, like, somebody put together, like, a resume for these two. Mike Tyson, 57 years old. Jake Paul, 27 years old. Pedigree, Jake Paul, 20 million YouTube followers. Awesome. <laughs> Mike Tyson, pedigree, former heavyweight champion. <laughs> Face tattoo, warrior, Mike Tyson. Face tattoo, dragon, Jake Paul. I don't I didn't even know he had a face tattoo at all. Favorite snacks. What's what's Mike Dyson's favorite snack? Evander Holyfield's ear. You don't even know that, do you? Do you know what that is? Let's know we need bit someone's ear. Yeah, he bit in the ring. He bit Evander Holyfield's ear off in the ring in a fight. Um That's crazy. like in the nineties. Fa- uh Jake Paul, favorite snack. Chomped on raw cow testicle. Yeah. Weird. I think he's following that. L- Liver King also, he's following the Liver King diet. Liver King retired for like a day and then came back to the internet. And I mean, it was a marketing ploy. From Chaotic Clean Talk, probably we broke the news as soon as possible. Um, <laughs> nickname, Mike Tyson, Kid Dynamite. Pretty good nickname. Jake Paul, Problem Child. That's just not, that's not. Uh, pets. Mike Tyson loves pigeons. Jake Paul, Pitbull and Golden Retriever. I feel like the pigeons is honestly a little bit more intimidating because it's like it's adorable. And Jake Paul's like, oh, I need the Pitbull and the and the you know I need the dogs to make me look tough. Mike Tyson is tough with the pigeons. He doesn't need anything to make him look tough. He's just Mike Tyson. Um, Mike Tyson. Here we go. Crimes. Jake Paul. Charges dropped for criminal trespassing. Mike Tyson, six years in jail for rape. Really? I did not know that. I, I knew about that, but the fact that they put that on here is crazy. That's insane. If you watch like videos of Mike Tyson punch it, like training, he's a fucking monster still. Like Paul, I, I'd be scared for Jake Paul's life. I'll say that right now. I'm I'm very comfortable saying that. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> All right, let's do let's do our immaculate grid, and then we will get out of here. I think we spun the wheel five times. Um, screen share. Here we go. All right, so Mark Ruffalo, Jesse Plemons, and begins with the Kirsten Dunst, director Martin Scorsese, and released from twenty fifteen to twenty twenty. Um, I would say any of these. Jesse Plemons. Game night. Jesse Flemons. He's in... Oh, wait. You know who he is. He's in Breaking Bad. As who? I don't know. I know he's in Breaking Bad. Does she... Game night wasn't released in... It was 2018. Right. He's definitely... Unless I'm thinking... Yeah, that's fucking Jesse Flemons. Nah, this... This thing is already... Jesse Plemons is in Game Night that was released in 2018. It's rigged. It's rigged against us. It's already rigged. Do we start with nine? Yeah, it's not even like submitting it. Buffalo is that the um the whole? He's yeah. 
I feel it. Is the only one. Find stuff. Where I know we're, we'll have to find a different immaculate grid for this if it's not gonna. Yeah, it's just not even gonna work. And Kirsten. Yeah, we're we're not even doing this shit here. Immaculate grid for movies. Here we go. Let's see if because I have to find because that thing just isn't working. Yeah, I'm proud out to be in a mirror team. Where at least I know. Forget the man who died. Press down to you, stand up next to you. Cause there ain't There's an ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. So this one isn't loading. And I'm proud to be an American. We released our known Bro, I can't even get an immaculate lid grid to load. Looks like, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not even, bruh. The effort to make games each day. We are no longer making new box office. Not, well, we're going to day one for these. Okay, here we go. This uh, this is all actors, dude. Actually, that's kind of easy. Here we go. Okay. Robert De Niro. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. This is This is going to be hard. I don't know who John Malkovich is. Oh, yeah, I see his picture, but I don't recognize him. You don't know who John Malkovich is? I've heard the name, and I see his picture, but who the heck is that? What's he in? <clears throat> He's in Con Air with um, Nicolas Cage. Have you ever seen Con Air? It's such a guy movie. It is. It is the most man movie of all time. It's Nick Cage... Goes to prison for killing two people, but he was defending his wife. And because he's a marshal or something, his hands are considered deadly weapons. So the court says he should have been more responsible, but he gets like a light sentence. And then he's going home and a plane that he's on, like it's filled with cons and psychos. They take it over. And John Cusack's in it. John Malkovich is a psycho in it. And he's basically like working to get the plane down just so we can go home. It's such a man movie, but it's it's fun to watch. Let's start Matt Damon. Well, Matt Damon, Ocean's... What's the first one? Ocean's Eleven? Is that the first one? I think... Or Casino Royale. Ocean's Eleven, hold on. Ocean's... Yeah. There we go. Easy. Easy. Fucking easy. Um, I keep wanting to say, say Shawshank for Tom Hanks and Morgan Freeman, but... It's not Tom Hanks in that movie. That's, uh, what the hell's his name? Something, Timothy something, I can't remember. This is so hard. I just racked my brain. Tom Hanks movies. What are some Tom Hanks movies? All I can think of is Toy Story. Tom Hanks in Castaway. I don't think any of those guys were in it. Means you can. Captain Phillips? Captain Phillips, maybe? No. Is that the Hudson River movie? Because that's also... Oh, that's, um, Captain Phillips is the boat movie. Uh, Sully is, but I don't think any of them are in it. We sure Morgan Freeman is not a voice actor in any of the Toy Story movies. If it was, it would be like Toy Story 4. Or if, like, Tom Hanks is a voice actor in the Lego movie. No, I don't think so. But heck, if any, if Robert is hero or Brad Pitt is a voice actor... You're just, like, exclusive to Lego movie knowledge. Well, I know Morgan Freeman's a voice in Bruce Almighty. No, nah, but they're not in any of those. Um, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore? That's, that's not Morgan Freeman. <laughs> that, so that's not Carl Weathers. That disrespect Morgan Freeman and, and Carl Weathers. <laughs> R.I.P. to Carl Weathers. I didn't do that. You did. He did. This motherfucker did. Right, right over here. Whichever side I'm on. She's in fight. That's oh, oh, seven. Oh. You think of John Malkovich. I feel like he hasn't seen that guy. There's a movie called Being John Malkovich, but I don't think they're in it. I don't think any of these guys are in it. De Niro. Let me think of a De Niro movie. What are, what are some De Niro movies? Because I want to go to, like, Goodfellas, but they're definitely not. None of them are in that. Raging Bull is too old. That'll be something where Robert De Niro. I always go to the intern. 
for some reason. Anne Hathaway, underrated bonk of an actress, too. She is so bad. Oh my god. I don't think she gets enough love. Um... <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir, brother. You're, oh, my God, yeah. I get why Taylor Swift wanted to be with him. He is, like, chiseled in that fucking movie. Do we just want to give up on this one? Uh, I'm, I want to give my brain one more... One more thought. Oh, hold on. Damn it. I thought it was Philadelphia. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Full <laughs> like that movie. No. No, it's all in. It's all in. Big money, big money. He might. He actually might. I'm not sure. Damn it. What about Toy? Oh, but there's too many Toy Stories for me to guess. Yeah. Actually. No, try it. You tell Four News is Trial 4. Tom Hanks. Toy Story 3. I'm guessing. Fuck. I don't think it really Matt Damon. No. Uh, damn it. Hold on. Toy Story. Yeah, Three and four for Damn that is three of All right. Man. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have known the other John Malkovich one. Saving Private Ryan. How did I not get that? I've literally only seen one. You've never seen Saving Private Ryan? You have to see that. Last Vegas, I, I've seen that, but I would not have remembered that whatsoever. Alright. Oh, I didn't name my woman. Or I did name a woman, didn't I? Oh yeah, Nikki Haley. Well I'm gonna name another yeah. woman. I'm gonna name another woman that I just, to, uh, actually, it's a young, a young girl, Shirley Temple, public enemy number two, number three of Chaotically Intolerant. Her stupid, I, I hate that song, the, the animal crackers in my soup, <laughs> loop loop, because whenever I would watch like Nickelodeon or something. She would just, that, that song just gets spammed. Like, the infomercial for that fucking stupid, it would like it was like a box set of Shirley Temple. The infomercial was annoying. It was horrible. I hated Animal Crackers. Why would anyone put Animal Crackers in their soup? That is ridiculous. That is, what soup? The only soup you could call it is cereal, because some people call cereal a type of soup. Because, more than I think about it, cereal is a soup. Soup. Think of soup. Well, gazpacho. That's a soup. That's cold. You just said uh, gazpacho. You've never heard of that? Can we can we get a full Grizzabella sighting for a second? I need you to pick her up and show her the camera. Where she is? Look, she's not in the room. She's on Omegle, probably just showing stuff. Did they did they get shut down? I heard something about them getting shut down. All right. Um, yeah, let's make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, subscribe to our email list. Um, check out Unstabled tomorrow, Tuesday. It's going to be released on the Unstabled YouTube channel, so go and look at that. We're going to release the trailer and the probably the intro on our socials or something. Probably probably just the trailer on our socials. Um go check that out. Check out on Thursday, Max Chadwick, Ho Football Focus. And then um what else? At some point Tech Mobile is gonna get started up again. I don't know what. Really bit really, really busy getting making some shut the fuck up. There's no modes. There's no modes. Um so we pull team get another We actually I haven't even fucking realized. I haven't even won the Super Bowl in That's... any of it, so shut the fuck oh, up. Yeah, um, accurate to real life. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but we're may I sometimes I just don't have time for Tech Mobile. We're I'm making some big money moves for the Chaotic Main Tolerant Table Tennis League. Um, yeah. So, anyways, we will see you on Thursday for probably the biggest episode in show history. Um, or as that we've had so far um and make sure to like subscribe comment the whole thing and we will see you on thursday